So it's been a while since I've been in this closet. Let's see what it looks like. So since I've been growing stuff outside, I have been using this as storage, but I did leave all the foil on the walls because that was a lot of work. But as you can see, some of it's falling down. I don't even have a light in here right now. But we're going to get this all fixed up and ready for my new spider farmer light. I'm going to try my hand at doing one of those sped up videos so you guys can watch me get this ready. So foil's coming off. Still going to keep some storage stuff up here. Got to fix this though. Fix a lot of that ceiling. All right, so we've got the spider farmer unboxed now, and we're gonna do a little video another time more on the specs on it, but this one's just gonna be getting this set up. So you can see mine came perfect condition. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. No bumps, no dings, no nothing. So, these are a little bit confusing to me because I can't quite figure out how they're supposed to connect. So, the only thing I've figured out is that I'm going to loop it because these are like a little clamp that I can move around. So. But I think since I'm going to be starting with absolute seedlings, and I already kind of did a little bit of measuring, um, I'm going to want a little more length because I decided to go with long, making my one shelf into two instead of height, um, just so I could get the most out of the length of the light, you know, instead of just only having peppers here. So. What I'm going to do is zip ties. Zip ties are always good. So, it's real easy on myself here. And that way, it's kind of nice too because it'll be able to move around. I'm going on this side purely because the outlet is on the other closet that has like the water heater and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I guess for lack of knowing how to put this together better, and if somebody knows better than I do, I may just be being stupid. Maybe I missed it somewhere in the directions. I'm just taking 
that and I'm looping it back around threading it through there and then clamping it back together so that's what I'm going to do with these guys over here Now, got these hanging, and they just screw in on the ends there. Pretty close, it's measured. Move that a little bit so that we get maximum plant area. So, right now I have it about 12 inches above my shelf. So we're going to see how that goes for right now, but as you can see, it's really easy to set up. We've got our power cord here. Put that in. switch it. I got the cord on the wrong side. green light, now it's on. It's bright all right. There we go. So there's my little setup for right now until I figure out if there's a better way to do these. 
We've got all our LEDs. It is super bright. It's definitely brighter than the other ones that I had in here last year that were really, really cheap. And the first thing that's going to go under it is this passion fruit. So put that guy down there. He's going to live on the second row. And we're going to see how some peppers do as soon as I can get some sprouted. So thank you so much to Spider Farmer for sending me this awesome light. And I can't wait to see what I can do over the coming months with it. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. And like and subscribe if you are ready to see more from this.